Hello. So we are going to attempt to fit our solar. Um, unfortunately, it's not a great day. Uh, it keeps sort of raining on and off, and the roof needs to be dry in order to stick down the um, little fittings that hold the solar panels in place. So we've sort of going to revert to plan B rather than. Um, try and get them stuck down in place first of all we're going to go backwards and we're going to start off with the wiring let's see how this goes this is a solar charger unit um, which has already put that in um, it's not wired or anything it's literally just sort of um, screwed in place so um, yeah this is going to be fun right so this is our ingenious way of trying to get the cable in so I've got I need to feed this green string under here yep take the black wire black wire that's I'm pointing see oh black wire okay yep and you need to Tape the, so I'm taping. You, you need to tape that black wet, like no, so it points in the direction of the, where we're going to go. So from that way, right? Yep. But you need to tape on about this much. So pull it up. That's it. Right to so there. Yep. And then wrap a shed load of tape all the way along. Okay. About two or three inches. And then I can go down in here. So to, um, wrap the tape so that the wire, the, um, the wire and the string is together, are parallel yeah. together. Are oh, parallel like that? Yeah. And then you're going to wrap along. You see? Right. Okay. So I've basically the wire is now attached to the string so that we can try and sort of feed it through into the engine bay because at the moment we're sort of galley end by the steps right i'm i'm taped right i'll start taking some of the slack yep and you need to start like feed it along basically as far as you can reach okay so that i don't have to just pull string hang on because the glass is just falling off Oh, okay. Oh, I don't. Okay. Yeah, keep going. It's getting quite tight now. Yeah, it's because it should be at the point where it's sort of starting to come through for you now. Right, now I've got to do the same for the red cable. So we fed the string back. Cable, so I'm going to do the same thing and tape it to it. I won't put quite so much tape on this time. Um, well, no, that's all right. Yeah. Because you want to, you know, make sure it doesn't pull off, otherwise we've got to do it all again. Yeah, that's true. So we've got to do this four times, four different cables. Okay, we have managed to feed all four wires, so they go right the way around the back, you can't really see, through a hole to the engine bay. Um, there's three there, which will be wired into the unit, and then we've still got one attached to 
the reel which will go right the way down the length of the boat so that one um, we won't be doing anything with just yet. And there's Richard getting his tools. Oh, he's going back down into the abyss. Which which end are you going to wire first? This end. This end. Okay. And then start taping them all round and pull it all up here and I can cut these and then wire them in. Okay. But I've also got to put the switch bit onto the battery bank. I'll be here down here all day. So just feed me sandwiches. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I'll put up the battery. <laughs> I'm putting the earth cable on for the solar charger. And I can tie this one all up. <laughs> so um, you can see our string. <laughs> sort of fed all the wires through. <laughs> That's the new bank of batteries. This is the original bank of batteries. I need the cutters. Oh, hang on. I'll grab them. So now this is to, not just a piece of wood that you cut, isn't it? To hold the switch, the switch for the solar, is that right? Yeah, just to know a solar override switch so we can turn it off. A fuse for the charger. And that's just about it, really. Nothing else not going on it. No. Right, that's that. Applied. One's 10 mil, one's 8 mil. Battery terminal. Why would you not send the same size? So Richard's trying to drill out the Oh, but that, we've got to change all the terminals. It's never easy, is it? It's never easy. Oh, I see there's six. I didn't realise there was six. See what you're putting them in the things and seeing. It's not straight yet, is it? <laughs> no. no. Should we put them both and then adjust to where we like it? Do you think? 
Yeah. Yeah. Hold it or I hate this these things. What do you want me to do the squidging? Yeah, you do the squidging, I'll do this, I'll put them down. You're gonna have to like, mm -hmm. hold yeah. it. Go on, I... Actually put it on the floor. Yeah. And just hold it like that. There we go. Like that. Oh God, I'm scared. Well, things ain't gonna go. Which way does it go? Oh, that way. Opposite to this one. Like that. That way. You can move it once it's down a little bit. Yeah. Right. Does that look like it's in place? Yeah. 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 Oh, squidgled then. It's all right. Sure. Is that all right? It yeah. does it. It doesn't have to be millimetre perfect. No. It doesn't, does it? I don't know. It's on a boat and it lives down there. Yeah, no, but we don't want the... No, I mean, um, I don't want the panels not fitting. Oh. Is there not much gap then? Let's <coughs> <laughs> bang them in. Let what we do, we can move them, well, these ones out, a tiny swishy. That's why maybe... It... Oh, no, you can't... No, no that, that's, that's fine. That, that's that's fine. That looks, that yeah, looks fine. Yeah, we're home. Okay. Careful because it's a bit on the edge of that one.
Right, so, so far we have fed the wires through to the engine bay. All the wires are in the engine bay. So all the wires are in the engine bay, yep. Yeah. Then you have wired in... All the ledger batteries, the new ones are all wired in with the other one, so the battery bank's finished. So all the battery bank's finished. Then because the sun came out, we decided to go up on the roof and stick down the little holders for the solar panels. And now you have now wired three of four wires, is that right? Yeah. Into the... I can't do the other one yet. What's the, what's the unit called? Smart solar charger. <laughs> the smart solar charger. I don't know what it's called. So right. Three of the wires are into there and at the other end they're done. So basically... Yeah. So just to give context first of all as well. So the boat that we originally had ordered would have had all the wiring for the solar but if you if you have been watching our previous videos we never did get the boat we originally wanted so we had to we, we knew we wanted solar so it meant we had to make a decision on how we were going to fit it so um, it does mean we're going to have wire running along <coughs> the roof but I don't think it'd be too bad we found a way of sort of getting it into the engine bay without having to drill through metal work without having to drill through the roof so we're going to go through the control panel uh, where you actually um, drive the boat because um, that's just basically wooden and drill through there and feed them through straight down into the engine bay so hopefully that won't be too bad and there won't be too much in the way of wires in the way <laughs> we hope let's see so here is the um, smart solar charge controller um, with three of the four wires all in. You can see we sort of neatened it all up now. So ready for the final one that has to go to the actual solar panels itself. You are completely useless. Well, that's not, <laughs> not very kind. This cable that comes from in there on the roll, through there, round the engine bay, all the way up in the engine bay, has to now go round the back of there and up there through a six millimetre hole. So this is going to be um, very interesting. So possibly a little bit sweary. Okay, maybe we better not video the squarey bits then. So, uh, <laughs> you're going to lay down under there, are you? Well, yeah. I've got to get this around the whole water tank. Right. So you have no idea what's involved. So you're going to thread it up to me then, and I'm going to grab it. Well, hopefully, somehow, I'm going to fold my body in half. <laughs> right. My yoga body. <laughs> Right, look. Burn it like that. Oh. It's like prison break. <laughs> you know when he's climbing around everywhere? You know on Shawshank when he climbs through the sewers? <laughs> That's how I feel. I think this hole is about six inches. Right. And I don't know if I'll get my head in it. <laughs> Right, I guess I'd better help. Right, right so we've got the um, charge controller all completely wired in now. That's all done, so that's great. So you don't have to do anything else with that now. And then, excuse me, there's tools everywhere. So we've got one cable, don't know whether you can see, running all the way down to the panels, right down there, and then we've got the other cable which is feeding down, it's still on a long reel at the moment, down into the engine bay, which Richard is wiring in right now. So I'm not an expert at tools, but 
Um, if you're going to do this, I think you need one of these tools, these crimping tools. Um, obviously, with this video, we've, we're fitting our own solar. We're not saying it is the way to do it. Um, we've done it our way. Doesn't mean it's the right way. MC4 connectors. Excellent. <laughs> Make sure we're plugging it in the right way, eh? Yeah. I've checked this so many times now, and you keep nattering, and I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay. That's, that's that one done. So that's the negatives done. Mm-hmm. Amps, 13.6 bit on our battery voltage. So look at that, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad considering it's quarter six. So we call that success. Brilliant. We just got to glue the panels now. We have. To. We'll do that now. We'll do it while we're still in the mood. And, and then, then we'll done. cable tie the wires just out of the way for now, and then that is it. Cool. <laughs> so it is. I'm done. It's seven minutes past six, and we're done. We're finished. Well, I started getting ready at half eight. Oh, yeah, but we, we didn't start the solo till. It couldn't have been till like gone ten. I don't know if it was like... I think it was about quarter past nine when I was eating my breakfast and then we walked the dog and you were like, felt like an hour in the um, Chandbury. It's not long. It's a bit of wire. <laughs> it felt like it. it was like hunting for a bit of wire. Yeah, <laughs> but they're done. They're on. Everything, it's all Stuck finished, down. isn't it? Stuck down. Working. They're finished. all working. Batteries done. done. And we've been Solar really, done. really, really lucky because it poured down with rain, didn't it, this morning. So we abandoned, we were going to stick down the little um, things for the solar to go in. Uh, we abandoned that and got on with the wiring instead. And then it's been dry all mm. afternoon. Luckily. Luckily. So we're quite lucky. We've got solar. Got solar, got a battery, it's done a service, finished. Finished. So uh, very, very productive. And it'll be good when we go for our month long cruise. Yeah, I'm going to bed now and I'm going to get up on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. It is draining. It is draining. It's be prepared to be drained. And like we said, it's not this is how you should do your solar. This is just how we did our solar. By no so stretch. Probably. Yeah, but no stretch of the imagine, imagination are we saying this is how you should do solar. <laughs> it is working. Because who knows? <laughs> it's working, so I'm assuming it's we've done it all right. It's instructions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. We thicker we wires than they told us to do, so we've upgraded all the wires. Yeah. So we could always put more solar on if we need be, but I don't think we will. No. I think it needed. That's it. Yeah. Finished. Finished. Football time. <laughs>